Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to a very funny man, my friend Tom Kenny. Maybe I should have rescheduled, huh? No, 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 go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it. I'll tell you all about it. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Tom Kenny, and as you can see, I recently broke uh, both of my arms. Thank you, I don't want to go into details. <laughs> Let's just say that seven very bad men are behind bars right now. Thank you, thank you. Actually, I tripped and fell, but that's not the point. The point is, when a tragedy like this happens to you, you learn a lot about your fellow man, your coworkers, your friends, your neighbors. For instance, their first question was not, are you in pain? When are the casts coming off? Not even, what are you gonna do with your leftover pain pills? <laughs> Swear to God, everybody across the board, their first question was, so, um, how are you gonna wipe your butt now? <laughs> That's true, everybody. I, I don't wanna be overly crude, but even if I could reach around back there, you wanna be very careful about getting anything on the cast. <laughs> that's gonna be wrapped around your hand for the next six weeks. Especially if you wanna get people to sign it. Um, I did learn a lot about marriage. When I was a kid in my 20s, I never understood the concept of marriage. Why would anyone get married? Now I know. Emergencies just such as this. <laughs> Honey, Jill. Jill, wipe me, I'm done. <laughs> Jill, did, did you go out? Huh? Huh? Oh, wait. This isn't the kind of thing that's addressed specifically in marriage vows. Uh, no minister has a crystal ball that good. Uh, do you, Jill, take Tom to be your lawfully wedded husband, even if for a period of four to six weeks you should have to wipe his? I do. Right there, that's the deal breaker. Uh, that's why people have spouses. Uh, I don't care how cool your roommates are. Very few roommates will go there. Uh, the ones that would, I don't think you want to hang out with them. Even with your wife, your spouse, the person you know most in the world, the person you're closest to in the world, that's a humiliating and embarrassing experience. My wife, Jill, trying to be very upbeat and supportive and put me at ease, she actually said this. Hey, tell you what, if it'll make you feel better when the casts come off, you can wipe me. <laughs> Completely missed the point. This isn't a question of me being envious. In fact, I think that everyone should be responsible for their own wiping. I really do. But think of that. Such an expression, a selfless expression of unconditional love for a woman to do that for you. And I'm no marriage counselor, but I think that maybe if Lisa Marie Presley had wiped Michael Jackson's little booty, they might still be together right now. Bruce Willis, Demi Moore, why are they still together? Why are they so happy? Again, I don't know them personally, but I think that maybe there's some TLW going on there. Some tender love and wiping. <laughs> I hope I've answered some questions tonight. It was good to address this issue that people have been asking me about the last couple of weeks on Nationwide TV. I do realize that for people that know Jill and I personally, it may be very hard from now on to go out to dinner with us ever again <laughs> without constantly having in your mind a vivid, unsavory mental image of Jill and me and... Maybe I should have just done the airline stuff. <laughs> Good night. Thanks so much.